we have six big pieces of Marvel news to talk about today. First up is Loki Season 2. It's officially been confirmed to be releasing this year and Marvel announced a new release date of October the 6th. Jonathan Majors will continue to play the character Kang the Conqueror and all of his variants in the show, despite his arrest for alleged domestic abuse back in March earlier this year. It's also been confirmed that Marvel are releasing three Disney Plus shows this year and these three will be Secret Invasion, Loki Season 2 and Echo. Speaking of Echo, Marvel has announced that they are releasing all six of its episodes on the same day. This will be the first ever MCU binge show and it will be streaming on November the 9th. Hopefully this release of all the episodes at once doesn't mean they are disappointed with the show's quality and I hope they are just testing new release methods. It's also been rumoured that Daredevil will appear in episode 2 of the show and he will also appear in later episodes as well. The third piece of news is about Captain America New World Order. We've seen the first glimpse of Sam Wilson's Captain America suit for the movie and the picture on screen is a set leak of his new suit. It looks very different to his white suit which we saw in the last episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We've also learnt more about some of the villains appearing in the movie, and these villains are the Serpent Society. And once again, on screen there's another set leak, and it includes WWE star Seth Rollins. He's actually been casted as one of the members of the Serpent Society. And another character on screen is the character Diamondback, who is another member of this Serpent Society group. There are also rumours that this fourth Captain America movie could have a name change, and it will no longer be called New World Order. The rumoured name change is to Captain America Serpent Society. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 has been in cinemas for two weeks now and it's crossed $500 million at the box office. And as of currently recording, it's now reached a total of $540 million. I think it could possibly reach $650 or maybe $700 million. The fifth piece of news is related to Agatha Coven of Chaos. It's already been previously revealed that Aubrey Plaza has been cast in the show and she's going to be playing a mystery role. But it's now rumoured that the character she is playing is even more powerful than the Scarlet Witch. And this is very surprising because Wanda is one of the most powerful characters in the whole of the MCU. So I'm very intrigued to see which character Arbor is actually playing. And lastly this week, multiple Marvel projects have been delayed due to the writer's strike that's taking place. These projects are the Blade movie starring Mahershala Ali, Daredevil Born Again which has been filming in New York, and also the Wonder Man show which is yet to be officially announced by Marvel but will be taking place in phase 6 of the MCU. That's all the news for this week. If you are a Marvel fan and want to keep up with all the latest news, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos.